Hey guys, I have a challenge question for you today. We've been talking about quantum mechanics recently, and I think we're ready to do a bit of recreational nuclear physics. A few episodes ago, we delved into quantum tunneling. I recommend you go watch it if you haven't already. But here's the TLDR. Particles of matter have wave-like properties. These matter waves don't have perfectly defined positions, but rather occupy a range of possible positions. One consequence of this uncertainty in position is the phenomenon of quantum tunneling. For example, a particle bound within an atomic nucleus may spontaneously find itself outside the nucleus, where the binding force no longer holds it. This drives the alpha decay of radioactive elements. Take the element polonium, but don't literally take it because it's one of the most radioactive elements known, and it decays as alpha particles tunnel out of its nucleus. It's so radioactive that it glows blue as these alpha particles ionize the air around it. There are no stable isotopes of polonium, but one of the least stable is polonium-212. It has a half-life of 0.3 microseconds, meaning half of any sample of polonium-212 will have decayed to lead in that time. That's also the half-life of an individual nucleus. So after 0.3 microseconds, there's a 50% chance that a given polonium-212 nucleus will have decayed. The challenge for today is for you to figure out the tunneling probability for an alpha particle to escape from a polonium-212 nucleus. Okay, here's some useful info. Picture an alpha particle as being trapped inside a box. The walls of the box result from the strong nuclear force which holds the nucleus together. However, that force has a very, very short range. The particle is bouncing between these force walls, and every time it approaches one wall, there's a chance it'll tunnel through. You need to find the tunneling probability for each one of these encounters with the wall, a probability that will add up to 50% over the many, many encounters that happen in the 0.3 microsecond half-life. A good first step might be to figure out how many times the alpha particle encounters the wall in that 0.3 microseconds. Some stuff you'll need. To get the number of wall bounces in 0.3 microseconds, you need the size of the polonium-212 nucleus, which you can calculate from the nuclear radius relationship, which relates the radius of the nucleus to the atomic mass number. I'll let you Google that one. You'll also need the velocity of the alpha particle. The alpha particle ejected in the decay of polonium-212 has a kinetic energy of 8.78 MeV, and you can calculate the velocity using the equation for kinetic energy and the mass of the alpha particle. Again, Google away, my friends. This info, plus drawing some of your own diagrams, plus some basic algebra, is enough to get you the probability that an alpha particle will tunnel out of the polonium-212 nucleus on any one encounter with the edge of that nucleus. Okay, and the extra credit question. How far does the alpha particle teleport from the nucleus when it pulls off this tunneling trick? To successfully tunnel, the alpha particle needs to reach a lower energy state. That happens when the potential energy of the Coulomb force trying to drive it away from the nucleus is equal to the kinetic energy of the particle. Submit your answers with full work to pbsspacetime at gmail.com within two weeks, so by July 13, for a chance to win a Spacetime t-shirt. Make sure you use the subject line Nuclear Physics Challenge to be in the running because we filter by subject line. Please don't discuss your answer in the comments to give everyone a chance to answer it for themselves. And I'll see you next week for a new episode of Spacetime.